am filming one of my favorite videos to film every single year. These are gonna be my fall beauty essentials, and it's supposed to be five because this is a collab with my friend Terry, but I've told Terry I cheated just a little bit and included a couple extra products, but I hope you guys don't mind, and I think Terry will forgive me. But Terry, I've talked about her a lot, and I've followed her channel for years, and it's amazing to not only have seen her YouTube channel grow, but also her business. I get two monthly subscription boxes every month. I get the Sephora Play Box and the Terry Mia Hira Beauty Box. Terry does such a fantastic job. I just, I sometimes don't know how she gets everything done in a day. She is just always go, go, go. So make sure to check out Terry's version of this video. I can't wait to watch it myself. And I'll also put links to all of her websites and social media in the description box down below. But this is going to be my five favorite fall beauty essentials. First up, I have a nail polish and I actually think this one came out in a collection a few years ago, but I just saw it maybe two or three weeks ago at Sephora fell in love with the color. It's the Deborah Lippmann Gel Lab Pro and Earth Angel. Now the color is a rosy mauve and in the bottle it looks like it has a ton of gold and almost pink shimmer in it. But once you get it on your nails, the shimmer is a lot more subtle. And I just think it almost makes it look a little bit shinier. The formula is really nice, although I will say, I think the Essie Gel Couture has just spoiled me. This one does not last as long as the Essie does, but I think the formula is really nice, goes on smoothly, is not streaky at all, and I think the color is beautiful. It's very work appropriate, but it's still pretty enough that you would want to wear it on the weekends. Okay, here's where I've started cheating. I couldn't pick just one lip color, so instead I've decided to say one of my fall essentials are lip products named Chai. First up, I have the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche Lipstick in Chai, and this is the deeper of the two shades, and I would call this a deep mauve brown and you can if you apply this fully it looks exactly like how it does on the swatch this is actually what I have on right now I just tend to apply these and blot them down just a little bit and I've also had this on for probably an hour and I have been drinking so you can see you can kind of get two different looks with it and then the lighter of the two swatches this is brand new from Red Apple Lipstick and it's in the shade Chai Love You, which is super cute. We actually had a work event this past weekend and I wore Chai Love You every single day and I think it's absolutely beautiful. So that's this swatch right here, which I would call kind of like a spicy neutral and at least on me, it looks exactly like the swatch when I first apply it, but as it wears off, it gets just a hint pinker, which I actually think is really pretty. So. Both of these I think are just perfect fall lip colors. Okay, I just wiped off the swatches of the two lip colors. You can see this is where the Red Apple Lipstick one was and it's kind of stained my hand pink and that's what I mean. As it wears away, my lips start looking a little bit pinker. Not a bad thing, just something to be aware of. And then for eyeshadow, there have been so many warm palettes that have come out this year. You have things like the Urban Decay Naked Heat, Natasha Denona Sunset Palette, both of which are gorgeous. But if you don't want to invest in a fully warm palette, I think it's so easy just to add a single red eyeshadow to your collection. The one I brought down is from Terry Mia Hira. This is from the box two boxes back and it's in the shade Inferno, which is this gorgeous rusty red. If you don't have this and it's not on her website anymore, I think Kat Von D has one that's kind of similar in tone. What I did today was a really basic nude eye, all over lid color, a little something in my crease, and then I took Inferno in my outside corner and then blended it up into my lower crease. And I just think it helps to make the look a little bit more interesting, adds a little shimmer, and is very appropriate for fall. And then other than red and warm tones, I love greens this time of year. And I actually have my eye on one of those brand new Marc Jacobs palettes. There's one with some green tones and this crazy bold gold color very high on my list for whenever the Sephora sale comes around. So if you have it, I would love to know what you think about it. If you've been wondering what I have behind me, this little thing, that's Momo. And she used to sleep up here all the time and then she just stopped and I kind of thought maybe she was done with it, but this morning she hopped back up there and she's been up there for hours. But next up, I have a couple things for glowy skin and I try to mask year round, there's something about fall and winter where I just want to because I feel like my skin's craving a little bit of extra TLC. One of my favorite all-time masks is the Mermaid Mask from Leilani Skincare. I have been using this for years, and unfortunately, I'm about done with another jar, so I need to place an order for this pretty soon. But a week or two ago, Leilani Skincare posted on their Instagram that they sometimes like to mix equal parts Mermaid Mask with the Melly Glow Nectar Mask decided to do it too and oh my word it leaves my skin so soft and so glowy so both masks are a hawaiian honey base but the pink one has things like rose clay and rose hip fruit and the green one has chlorella spirulina and french green clay 
I don't really know what they do when they all mix together, but whatever it is, it makes my skin feel fantastic. And then if you just wanna fake a little bit of glow, this time, you know, in August, I barely wore foundation, but then when I start wearing more eyeshadow and deeper lip color, I like to have more of an even base. So I've been testing out some more matte, medium to full coverage foundations. Today I'm wearing the new Too Faced Peach one, just trying to decide if I like it. And you know, you get the even base, but then it also makes your face look a little bit flat. So I think adding in a highlighter is really important. And today, this I talked about in my last favorites video, it's the Antonym Cheek Crush Highlighting Blush. This is absolutely beautiful. I may have over applied it today. I don't know. Whenever I film videos, I feel like my blush either looks like it's not there or it's like, whoa, like a lot of blush. So I've just decided to go with however it looks and it is what it is. But this product is absolutely beautiful. I love to apply it with a fan brush. My last fall essential is bold brows. And lately I've been using the Plume Brow Pomade. This is like the Anastasia Dip Brow or Eco Brow. But what makes this different is that not only are you getting the color for your brows, but it has ingredients like castor seed, oil and shea butter. So if you've had a plucking incident or you just want thicker brows, fuller brows in general, you're getting some really nourishing ingredients in this. I love that it comes with a little brush. This is what I use to apply it today. And I have the lightest shade golden silk, which is actually pretty ashy, which I think most people would really like. I feel like in, I'm in the very small percentage of people who don't mind a little bit of a warmer brow product, but I like this a lot. I also think I might, I think my mom might like this. So I think I might order one shade up. For her and then i could test it out for myself just to see what the color is like but this is a natural product i think the wear time is fantastic i think it holds up just as good as my mac brow products do that is all for my fall beauty essentials i hope you enjoyed i had a really good time putting it together and don't forget to check out terry's video i'm gonna go watch it now myself thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you each have a fantastic weekend mm -hmm.